Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Destination Unknown I pay per view hosted by RFPW in co sponsorship by RFPW IST, Warps PVTC, and the RFPW Network. My name is Joey Bloat. Welcome here tonight. We've got amazing matchups. Let's start off with the junior women's title. Ariella Wolf takes on Risa in a steel cage match. And let's start off with that right way. Here she is, the premier junior women's champion from Venlo, the Netherlands. Ariella Wolf, the card wheeling champion we've called her. Former Glamazons champion. And tonight she will be defending once again. And through the rope she goes. Gets the ropes and the fist ready. And here is her opponent. From Lima, Peru. It's Risa. Debuting here tonight on the Juniors Division. Who is co-hosting this pay-per-view as well as the main roster is. And can she keep reaching higher? Well this is one way to start off a steel cage match for the junior women's title. One opportunity she has. Oh yeah. Crowd is ready and heated up for tonight's pay-per-view. You can watch it live on hitbox.tv slash the Raging Falcon. Or you can watch it on the RFW network if you missed the live event. This is what it's all about. The junior women's title from Ariel Wolf. Will Ariel retain or will it be Risa gaining up the victory? The cage is lowered and we're on the way. Whoa, nice kick from the get go by Risa. Who's a tiny bit smaller. Than Ariella Wolf is. Oh, dumped hard. Oh, what a nice kick once again. She's doing quite well, isn't she? Take down by Ariella Wolf. Completely got to leave the focus on. Oh man, what a DDT! beautifully executed and but this is not the first and only match there's so much more to come the women's title the European title the RFPW championship and the juniors championship are still to be on the line here tonight oh man and now Oh, Tornado DDT. Well done. And Monkey Flip. Now, Risa thrown into the corner. Ariel Wolf starts climbing the cage. And will she succeed? No, for now not. Risa pulls her down. Well done by the just 17 year old. Now Risa takes over. Three dumps on the back of the head. Is that where you want to be? I'm not quite sure. But I said anything can happen. Oh man. Hit her in the face. Well, we'll have to see whether she can do that. She's climbing the cage and I don't know if that's smart. Risa gets her back in. This time lands on her feet. And that might be beneficial for Ariella Wolf. She's got to make sure she knocks Risa out. 
Uh oh, and that's just that. I've got to do the damage first before you can even try to escape. Risa gets back in it for now. Oh, nice face plant. Well done. Now, oh, ow. Ariella really bounced back off. For a debuting match in the Steel Cage, this is not a bad beginning for Risa in RFPW. Good raw talent. Go for a suplex. Hook to the leg. Risa now trying for a first attempt to escape the cage. Doesn't work. Oh no, and Ariel is ready to perform the finisher. There we go. Twist the fight. Now it's time for Ariella to escape. Can Risa get back up to her feet and keep Ariella in? It's going to be very tough and I think she just can't make it in time. No, you're too late. Ariella's escaping, but she has to hit the floor with both feet and she will retain. And she does. Let's take a look at some of the highlights here for this junior women's matchup. We've had some. This was a very nice suplex by Risa. But in the end, it was the twist of fate that healed hers. And thus, we saw Ariella climbing out of the cage. And that ended the match. Here's your winner and still junior women's champion, Ariella Wolf. Great effort by Risa, but the twist of fate was something she couldn't handle but well tried for your debut match but Ariella is neatly to escape here with the junior women's title next up it's Rue LaRue taking on Killian Knightley And there he is, one of the most upcoming talents from the new RFPW Junior Division. And I can tell you the following, he's 21 years old from Bournemouth, England. Weighing at 98 kilos. It's Rue LaRue. And we got to wait until see how far he can go. Rue Rue, there's so much to say about him, but we've got to see how he does well he does on iPay per view. That goes as well for this guy, hasn't been on many pay per views, but now he is. An amazing match last week. And he's still honouring one of the true legends, Leonard Nomoy, aka Mr. Spock. He's an amazing Okay, have I misinterpreted that? Okay, I didn't know that. But apparently... Oh, I was misinformed. It seemed that this was an inter-promotional match. Showcasing Junior Division versus... Well, the good old times, we should say. Skelly Knightley, of course, is 25 and is on the main roster from Chelsea, England. He is weighing in at 92 kilos. So the inter-promotional matchup of the evening will be Rue LaRue vs Kelly Knightley. Will Junior Division prevail or will the main roster stand tall? 
Ball is wrong. Oh, nice interpretation. An anticipation of Rue Larue just kicking it off like that, literally. Let's see what he can do here tonight on iPay-Per-View. Oh, well done. Crowd is really getting hated after that junior women's championship match in the steel cage. But as I said, also the RFPW women's match, women's title is also on the line tonight. It's Mia Jenkins defends against Lady Soko. Tornado DDT! Beautifully executed. And also, tonight's RFPW championship match between Emil Satoshi and Joel Redman. Redman defeating Tanahashi for the number one contender spot as his second shot at the RFPW title. The European title is also tonight online. It's Max Damon who will be defending. And Max Damon will be defending against Harvey Anderson, the former general manager of Fight Night and RFPW champion formerly. But most of all, the match that will be looked out for tonight will be the six way elimination chamber match. It's Jeffrey taking on Giovanni, Dylan Bustick, Keith Elliott, Noam Dar, and Troy McQueenus. Note, should Jeffrey not win that Elimination Chamber match, then the winner of that Elimination Chamber and another participant as a wild card will face Jeffrey in a triple chat match for the Juniors Championship. If Jeffrey wins, he will keep his championship and has no need of further defences this night. But Rula Roo is kicking Killian Knightley's arse. Shall we put it nicely like that? Because it's like that and that's the way it is. So well, we can edit our websites and our wikis right away as the first match has been done already. Oh, there we go. But as said, this night is so young and there's so much more to come. The crowd is on their feet already. What should that give for the main events of this evening? For the junior title and the RFPW Championship. We're updating everything literally as of this very moment. So that will include the live Twitter feed. Oh man, beautifully done. Here we go. <laughs> I just had a little laugh, I'm sorry for that. And it is destination unknown live results. Oh no! Don't oh man, we've just Oh man. We've just had those fixed from last night. The juniors show. Do you have to demolish them? It's always the main roster guys who do so. Oh wow, look at that, he's going crazy. 
Rula Roo! Damn! There it is, his finisher. And how wonderful is it? He gets the victory! That means the junior division in the first interpromotional matchup gets one up on the main roster as Rula Roo defeats Killian Knightley. Well done. Next up is the European title match. Max Damon takes on former general manager of fighting at NRFPW champion Harvey Anderson. There we go. The team music doesn't sound very European. It just might be that we're going to have an Asian champion soon. You just never know. This is from the Netherlands, the Max Damon Experience. The King of Bling is here, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to have an amazing opponent tonight. But how will he fare? The music sounds extremely calming. I said it could, just could be the Asian Championship on the line. But here's his opponent. And he is from Oslo, Norway. The former general manager of Fight Night and former RPW champion. Weighing at 72 kilos. Harvey Anderson. And there's so much to say about this guy, but he isn't a DRFPW champion anymore. He isn't the general manager of Fight Night anymore. So, well, what's to come? What's to go? We just never seem to know. So, are we ready? Oh, he's still in the ring. Okay. <laughs> well, hurry up now, please. You want to get on? That would be nice, Harvey. He's probably going to shout at us, isn't he? He always does that. He always shouts. I don't know why. But we'll have to wait and see how that goes. So here is the European title. Max Damon showcases it once more. Germany, UK, Spain and Italy are the ones directly on the title as the local ring announcer leaves. That's what it's all about, the European title. I wonder why Bala's wrong. And could Harvey Anderson also become triple crown champion? Now remember, he's a former hardcore champion. That could mean that he would have three titles under his name and he would be the second person to do so after Jeffrey, who held the Juniors Championship, World Championship and RPW Championship. And that would make Harvey Anderson a for, former RPW and RFPW hardcore champion as well as the European champion would have a main title a world part title, a continental title as well as a specific title that would go the same for Jeffrey, that would be an amazing award show that we would see after this amazing event oh but taken down Yes! Harvey Anderson, wow, no nice shoulder tackle by Harvey Anderson right there. Yeah. 
Nice neck breaker. Nobody seems to like Max Damon anymore after he split up with Joel Vox after they lost the tag team champions tag team championships I should say. And well it serves them right because he was unfair to Joel Vox. Joel did a lot of the work and wasn't really being respected on his part of being champion. Therefore they split up at a match which Joel Vox won. That goes to show that Max Damon really has to up his game in order to stick around and stay champion. Oh wow, nice suplex by Harvey Anderson. I mean he's been here oh very nearly after we've begun last year. Oh there we go. Goes for the cover. One two not mm, just nearly two it seems. Here it is, DDT time. Might that be it? Well, we have a new European champion and second triple crown champion. No, that is very disappointing. Crowd were on their feet if that would have happened, because nobody dislikes Harvey Anderson. Always been fair and square as a general manager as well. Not giving him booking advantages or anything. Oh, but count it nicely by Max Damon now. Need to do something in order to retain his title. Oh, double leg drop kick. Goes for the cover. Two. Oh. Oh, man. Bloody heart knocked out. Will that be it? One. Two, two and three quarters. Harvey Anderson stays in it. He stays in it for now to try and win it. Two count. Harvey Anderson, here we go. DDT. Second time now. That should be it. Is it it? Three. Take a look at the quick highlights here. Nice spine buster. Uh, Max Zeman really tried to cling on at a series of array of good moves, like the double leg drop kick. And then just take a look at that. Yet it wasn't enough to keep his title, let's be quite honest about that. As out of nowhere, RV Anderson did that second time DDT. And that means your new European champion, Harvey Anderson. Congratulations, Harvey Anderson, on performing like you've performed just now. Well done. Well done. But next up is the women's title on the line and it is Mia Jenkins and she will face off against a former women's champion Lady Soko. Hey yeah. Somebody call her mama. Somebody call her mama. I just can't help it, I just got to sing along. Somebody's just gotta call her mama. I just can't let it go, you've got to boogie but what have we just seen? New European Champion and Triple Crown Champion Harvey Anderson. Unbelievable. What a great effort here tonight. 
But Mia Jenkins, what could she possibly do? As here is her opponent for now, Lady Soko. How about that? Lady Soko, former women's champion, didn't cling on to the title for long. But of course, you are of the facts, I know that. Lady Soko held the title in the recent days for the longest 19 days. Samir Jenkins only held it for three days in her first reign. Let's see what it brings to the table here tonight. As we quicken it off just now. Oh, a nice slap across the face. Oh, wow. But look at Lady Soko. The sheer, sheer speed and agility. That is unbelievable. Oh, on the outside. It's not where you want to be. Definitely not. But it happens and you can't do anything about it. But we have determined there's a new champion as of tonight. At least one. And that is very, very cool. Lady Soko in the corner. Oh, Mia Jenkins missed it right there. Very stupid failure. Oh, and she's down again. That's too bad. Oh. Mia Jenkins now. Oh, wow. Just pushed through the table by Lady Soko. What the hell? never seen anything like that just shoved towards the table and gotten through it that is crazy that is really crazy unbelievable what's just a wow just can't believe it if Lady Soka doesn't win it now it's got to be something happening then, isn't it? Lady Soko right now. Oh, face busted. Now Lady Soko. Oh man, sickening! Into the ropes with the legs, but imagine what that would have been if that was it. Would have counted, counted needlessly. There was no option for help. Oh man! It's got to be a good night kiss for Mia Jenkins. But she gets up! In a quick flare of adrenaline, she gets up. But how long can she last? It's got to be the sheer question. And... Oh, man, what a Superman punch. And look at that. Oh, dumped hard goes for the cover. Lady Soka just kicks out after one. What a beast. Oh no. Oh, turn around the ring. That's what we've seen before. And she's done it. 
Just look at how what she did. She shoved it through the announce table. I've never seen anything like that. I never thought she would have such in impertinent strength, but she does. But just look at that, she just throws around the ring. And that concluded it all. And therefore, your new women's champion. Say it two times now. The Lady Soko. Unbelievably done. But well done. Nevertheless. Lady Soko, two time women's champion. And she can be happy about that. Next up is the Juniors Championship. The Elimination Chamber. We've explained it once tonight but we will do so again. If Jeffrey doesn't win, he has to defend his title against the winner and another participant of this Elimination Chamber in a triple threat for the Juniors title. We're going to a different arena for tonight's Elimination Chamber match. And the crowd is packed, sold out. Just for this match. As Giovanni starts off versus Noam Dar. And the only way to be eliminated is via pinfall or submission. And it has to be inside the ring. That's the way it's going to go down. But how will it go down? Will Jeffrey keep his title anyway? Will there be more? I have to find out. Now that we know is that Mia Jenkins just lasted one day longer than a previous reign. And that is not good. Can Lady Soko keep it for longer than the 19 days that she has before? Or will she also succumb? We've seen that in the women's division. That the level is so high. But they've got to keep it going, don't they? Their first new one, fresh, is. Oh my goodness, it's the juniors champion already. It's Jeffrey. It's a different arena, way bigger crowd. They all came to see what's going down here. Will Giovanni tap? Will he be the first out? Jeffrey waiting on the side. You can't afford to expend any energy that you don't need to. No, Giovanni counters against Noam Dar. Jeffrey still waiting on the side. He's not going to do anything. Oh, missed that in particular. This is arena very close to the one that our I pay per view is being held in. And who's going to be next in the Elimination Chamber? And it is Dylan Bostic who enters at number four in his Elimination Chamber. So it's Jeffrey vs. Giovanni. The first two RFPW champions clashing up against Noam Dar and Dylan Bostic. Got a duo's right set up. That means still locked up is Keith Elliott and Troy McQueenus. Oh, hard shot in the corner. One to Jeffrey. And that is not helping him right now. The ideal would have been. Uh, entering at number six, but he entered at number three. He's going for Giovanni now. And now Dylan Bostick's got no I'm dying control. And Troy McQueen has entered at number five. So now here's a double team. Is it what you want to have? The leg lock from Noam Dar. On to Troy McQueenus. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. By no one door. Getting trapped on the leg. And now, of course, the last one to come in is Keith Elliott. Oh, Jeffrey nearly eliminated already. You might have been very, very lucky. As here is Keith Elliott. Giovanni on the pin. Kicks out at two. And the one dies in the lock. And will he go out? No, it doesn't. Not so far. Now it goes for the cover. No! But Giovanni might be out of his seat on barrel rolling through by Dylan Bostek. And Giovanni's the first man out. That leaves us with five. Keith Elliott, Troy McQueeners, Dylan Bostick, Noam Dar, and the current juniors champion, Jeffrey. And who will be out next? He's got that login. And Jeffrey still keeps in it. But on the outside, you saw that a pin attempt. And apparently, it is being counted. It's Noam Dar. Oh, man. Who's going to be in it? Fireman's carry got Buster. Will Noam Dar be next one out? Mechanic to two and Noam Dar is out. That leaves us with four. Noam Dar is out. Giovanni is out. That leaves Jeffrey to eliminate three more. But now facing off against his protege, Troy McQueenus, who fought him already over the world title where Troy McQueenus came up short. Now Keith Alley has been trying to t be taken out. No sticks in it. It's going to be an amazing time here. And countered by Troy McQueeners. Well done. Will Jaffer be out? Oh, Jeffrey Bailey stays in. Otherwise, he's going to have to go through another matchup tonight. No, Troy McQueen stays in. And what will Troy McQueen do? Five minutes. Can we got Buster Protege giving the master a piece of his mind? And will be Jeffrey be eliminated and at least face two people in the triple track title match? And it is! Jeffrey has been eliminated and thus we will have a triple threat title match for the Juniors Championship tonight. Jeffrey can go prepare for that. But who will go with him? If Keith Elliott taps, we've got the other two opponents. Will Keith Elliott tap out? No, not so far. Now it's double team rushing leg sweeps right now. Oh! Nice moves by Keith Elliott. And will Dylan Bostick be eliminated? No, Dylan Bostick kicks out. Oh man, and that should be it. And Keith Elliott eliminates Dylan Bostick. That leaves him and Troy McQueenus. You can't be sure because it just might be Dylan Bostick who will face in a triple threat with the winner instead of these two guys. You just never know. 
who will be the winner and will have a guaranteed spot in the triple threat title match. That was brilliant by Troy McQueen, but does that get him in? No, Elliot kicks out. Now, DDT. DDT. No, Keith Elliott stays in. Again. There he goes. Oh, nice. Far suplex. Sticks in again. How long can they go? How long can Troy McQueen is all out? He's wavering him up. Oh, second time. Fireman's carry got Buster. Will Troy McQueen is auto advance to the triple threat title match for the Juniors Championship? Yes! He does. Let's take a look at the highlights. That was amazing. That was really well done. And there it was. So we will have a triple threat title match tonight for the Juniors Championship. And Troy McQueen is auto advancing. But who will join him? Will it be Bostic? Da. Will it be Keith Elliott or will it be Giovanni? But Troy McQueen is, is in. That's for sure. Let's move back to the other arena for the RFPW title match between Sitochi and Redman. And next up, as I said, it's Sitochi versus Redman for the RFPW championship. And here he is, the tremendous Emil Sitochi from Aid of the Netherlands. He's weighing in at 94 kilos, four time RFPW champion. Can he do what he did at the Valkenberg Deception and defeat Joel Redman for the title for a second time? Or will he have to admit defeat? We'll have to wait, we'll have to see what that will bring to the table. And the damn well seems ready. But he's not the only one here tonight. Because here he is from Exeter, England. Weighing in at 99 kilos. Joel Redman. And Joel is ready. He's ready to rumble. Getting his second shot for that RFPW championship. First time he had it was at the Valkenberg Deception and came so very close. But can he get his second shot and can he make it worthwhile? That is the question. Or will Sitochi stand supreme once again? It's also a good question. And we're on the way in his RFPW Championship match. Now how will that go tonight? Yes, oh, series of kicks to the head of Satoshi. Knows what the crowd wants, they've had enough of him. They think 
So Tochi isn't that tremendous anymore and they want change and Joel Redman would be the perfect example of change, the perfect specimen of hard work that would pay off. But now Tornado DDT Yes And Dos Oh nice hip toss by Joel Redman Oh, but now Cannon into the, another series of kicks, but now by the opponent. Oh, inverted atomic drop. Joel Redman. What a tackle. He's going to take it over right now. And I wonder how long Sitochi will last. Because last time it took a very long while. Until he got Roman up, took him down, and won for the victory. But this is what we've seen from Redman constant counters. There comes no hold to it. Now, Sitochi's thrown into the corner, and that won't help. Tornado DDT goes for an elbow right now. Oh, Mr. Drop Kick. And that won't help him. But Satoshi also misses a move. And there's set Jewel Redman, master of countering. It doesn't matter how ready Satoshi is, it matters. How good Redman can counter it. Oh no! Hanging on tightly. Oh nice tactics by Joel Redman. They've got he's got to get him back in the ring if he wants to win. Oh man, what a drop. He's gotta get him in. No, I don't know where he wants him to go, but it won't help him so far. But they've got to get in the ring. And they have. But Joel Redman really making abuse of that. Using what he had to do. And again. Will they go to the outside? No, you've got to be kidding me. Not again. This is what we've seen at the Valko interception on the apron. Good night, Redman. What will Sitochi do now? Redman on the counter. Hip toss. This is what we had expected. Oh man. But what we can say is that this is awesome. And I can now give you the word that it will be, of course, in the co main event of tonight for the Juniors Tunnel, Jeffrey defending against the winner of the Elimination Chamber, Troy McQueenus, and Dylan Bostick. The one went out before Keith Elliott. Gets the wild card into a triple trip match. Oh, Jack Hammer busted him open. It's got to be a good night, is it? Three count. Highlights of this matchup. What a sickening RFPW title match this was. And what a very, very deserved outcome it has been. Look at that, Jack Hammer. And does the three count. And here he is, your new RFPW champion.
He is the new RPW champion. Congratulations, Joel Rittman. Well done, mate. Well done. Couldn't have done it any better than you did. But next up, the triple threat title match for the juniors title. Thomas Kiesling will be refereeing. And it's good that he does. But there's not much more to say. Jeffrey's going to have a tough job. He's 66.6% .6 likely of losing the title. And as you know what that means. That capers on the coast. And one of them will be his former protege, while well, he is still his protege, Troy McQueen, is winner of the Elimination Chamber. And this is going to be one hell of a matchup, I can just give you that on a plate. On a silver platter. And how ready must he be? He's got to be feeling hyped after winning such a match like an Elimination Chamber. And here's the guy who came third in that Elimination Chamber match. And he's going to be a great Twitter King, no doubt about it. But, most noteworthy, he was for his wrestling skills. From Morristown, weighing in 89 kilos, it's Dylan Bostick. And what could he do here tonight? Can he deliver an upset of very, very high proportionate? We'll have to see, we'll have to wait to see how that goes. So here it is, Thomas Kiesling will hold up the Juniors Championship. Are you ready? Because I am. Juniors title on the line, Jeffrey versus Bostig versus McQueenis. Here we go. And the bell is rung and we are on the way in this triple threat main event title match of RFPW Destination Unknown. You hope you are having a good time around in the arena on headbox.tv slash the Raging Falcon or on the RFPW network. And we hope you to continue as well as our current and future shows as well as all of our past shows and see how we've developed in the last year. As you're moving towards the 31st of March on one year anniversary. Oh man. Well done. Troy McQueen is Dylan Bostick wasting no energy so far. That might be beneficial for him. As you can see he's waiting as Master Trainer and Protege are squaring off Jeffrey versus Troy McQueen is. Jeffrey brought Troy into the company, very close friend to him. You can see that Thomas Kiesling is really watching closely towards as well as Dylan Bostick as Jeffrey is Troy. He's got to make the fall count. And he's got to make sure it's a legal one as well. Because there are no disqualifications, there are no countouts. The only way to win is by a pinfall or submission inside the four ropes. Well, inside the 12 ropes, we should say. Three sets of four. Four sets of three ropes. 
get your mouse right would help. DDT. We can just see that Dylan Bossig is quietly loafing around. Waiting for when to step in. That but might be a very, very wise strategy from him. Just going to jump in whenever everybody should be down. Stealing the title, basically. What an amazing strategy that would be. You see, Troy McQueen has went for Dylan Bostick there, but Jeffrey interfered. Dylan Bostick did no moves, but didn't have to cash some in either. That will help Dylan Bostick really good. Oh no, but now he's getting hammered by Jeffrey. And double teamed even. Oh, but countered by Dylan Bostick. Well done. Gotta give him credit for that, but still, now he's getting pummeled. Would that strategy be not beneficial anymore? Now he's getting double T. Oh, again, double headbutt. Gets a tackle in on McQueenus. But what can he do against Jeffrey? I reckon not much. I know it is in suplex. But still, the strategy was a good thing. He even goes to the outside now. Gets a chair. Oh, fully hit. Troy McQueen is now starting to whack. And he's busted Jeffrey open. That just might be it. Just a one count. Starting to whack a mole with that chair. It was just broken in half. Now it takes out Jeffrey. What will he do versus Troy McQueen is then? Not much, can it? Oh, nice neck breaker. Goes to the outside once again. Gets another chair, the lumbar stick. Oh! You saw that right there. Oh my goodness, what a hit. And again! Ridiculous hammering. By Dylan Bostick with that chair. But Troy McQueenius gets it now. Oh! Takes two guys out on the chair. It's unbelievable what Dylan Bostick is doing. Hardcore wrestling. The hardcore title was abandoned, but this might be a new era for that even. But now, McQueen is getting hammered by the double team now. And this is very good. McQueen is actually helping Bostick to stay unharmed. Bostick staying out of the way for now. Just waiting for the right time. Gets the chair in. Oh, good night. And good night to you as well. Dylan Bostick. Another one count. How great is this? Oh, man. Dumped hard again. Oh, bloody hell. Goes for it. One. One count. Dylan Bostick is really going all out. Not wasting. Oh my god. Horrendously failed. And now five minutes carry got bust onto Troy McQueenus. You've got to get Jeffrey out of the ring. If you want that pinfall, he's going to do that. He's going for the cover. Two and three quarters. My goodness me, how close was that? Tried so hard to get it. I'm trying to profit from somebody else. Didn't work.
But now it's Troy McQueen is taking over. Dylan Buster countering. It's trying so hard to get that title. You can see it. But it's a triple trade. It's not as easy as just going one on one. Ah, oh, Tornado DDT. Go for the cover. Just one count. Goes to the outside one final time. Might he be able to use the chair? Trust Jeffrey over the steps. Troy McQueen is in the other direction. Goes back in with the chair. Oh, tried to go for a nail. Troy McQueen is didn't work. It's Jeffrey with the chair. It's Troy McQueen with the chair, and both guys are busted open. Just one count. Still. Dylan Bostick has busted both Jeffrey and Troy McQueen is open. He's going for it again. Two count. What a ridiculously good match. Goes for it one more time. One count. Dylan Bostick. What are you prepared to do, mate? What can you do? Troy McQueen is. Five months carry, go Buster. Under Jeffrey, now he's got a profit. Throws Troy McQueen into neck break, and now he's got to go for the cover onto Jeffrey. And that's it. Take a look at the highlights of this amazing main event. I hope you've really been watching because this was excellent. Cannot state it any other way. Dylan Bostick busted both guys open with a steel chair. Then this fireman's carry gut buster and went in for the steel. And does your new juniors champion. Dylan Bostick. What a way to end this destination unknown pay-per-view. New European Women's RFW and Juniors Champion. The only one standing alive was Junior Women's Champion. Congratulations Dylan Bostick. My name has been Joey Blight. Good night.